So, hi there, I guess. I'm not really sure how to start this video or what to say, but as you guys can probably tell by the title slash thumbnail slash whatever I did for this video, I've kind of been working out for a couple months now, and I guess I decided I was going to show it to you. I'm not 100% sure I'm actually going to post this video, so I guess if it's someone other than me watching this, congratulations, me, you posted it. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, so for the last six months or so, I've been I've been going to the gym and trying to take better care of myself, and I guess I, I just sort of wanted to share the results with you guys. I, I, do, I don't know why I feel so weird about it. It's not really that strange of a thing. People do these little workout transformation videos all the time, but I don't know. I guess I never really saw myself as that guy. I didn't want to be that douche who's like, oh, hey, look at me. I'm shirtless in a photo. Am I, am I, am I sexy yet? I just... I don't I don't know. I've I've never really I've never really been that guy where I feel the need to like attempt to show off or something, but honestly, I'm really proud of what I've done. I've put 6 months of work into this and honestly, I'm pretty proud of it and I know that I've put a ton of hard work into it and I know that a lot of you out there are probably interested in doing something similar at least, just going to the gym, taking better care of yourself focusing on trying to get healthier in general and I know that potentially something like this could help you out in doing it because for me seeing some of my friends do something similar is sort of what pushed me to do it. I saw cartoons uh, and Captain Sparkles both of them have been working out a, a good deal more than they have both of them uh, they started in different places uh, but they have both made a lot of progress towards uh, being healthier and just taking better care of their body and I sort of decided that you know what it's probably time for me to start taking care of myself as well I've been doing YouTube for a couple years now and I haven't really been doing much else I've sort of just been focusing on making videos and trying to make the best content for you guys while sort of neglecting my health and just sort of eating all sorts of terrible things drinking terrible things and just not exercising at all for multiple years and I realized that that is probably something that I should change if I if I want to be happier just in life and just have a longer life. So that's sort of why I decided to do what I did. I was sort of inspired by some of my friends. So I guess that's sort of why I wanted to make this video is sort of because I was proud of what I did and because hopefully maybe I can inspire some of you guys to do something similar. So, so as you guys are actually on the video, I'm assuming you guys saw the before slash after picture on my Instagram or on my uh, YouTube thumbnail or something like that. Uh, but the picture that's going on the screen right now, it was me about five, six months ago. It's actually a few weeks into me working out. So it's not really a before picture, but I didn't really take a before picture. So it's sort of the best I have. I, I didn't really, I guess I didn't really want to have a before picture of me. I mean, it's not really that impressive. It's just sort of me without a shirt. I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong with how I looked. Like I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, me without a shirt, that's terrifying. Like I was, I was comfortable in my own skin, but I, I realized that I could look better and I could feel a lot better if I were to work out a bit more. So that's me a couple weeks uh, into, uh, into working out and then this uh, which is me on the screen right now uh, is me probably about a week ago um, I, because I've been sort of putting off making this video because honestly I, I don't know why but I feel I, I just I didn't want to be I didn't want to be that guy I didn't want to be like oh look at me so sexy without a shirt it's just I don't know it, do, it doesn't really feel like me so hopefully it's not too weird hopefully if you guys are cool with it but yeah this is me now, I guess. It's kind of kind of weird. This is me. That's sort of a dramatic change from where I was six months ago. But basically, I figured I would tell you guys what I did, how I got here, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, Bryce, I'd like to do something similar, but honestly, I have no idea. And to be completely honest, when I started, I had no idea too. And I don't claim to be a health guru or fitness expert or know what I'm doing. I'm probably not even the smartest guy like in my house and I'm the only, <laughs> I'm the only one who lives here. 
I don't, I, I don't claim to know what I'm doing, but I can at least tell you what I did and it, whatever I did sort of worked for me. So I, I figured I might as well share with you guys. So at the very beginning, uh, in January, when I started the whole new year, new year's resolution or whatever, I was like, Hey, I'm going to try and take better care of myself. So, uh, in December and pretty much all my life before then, I've basically been eating whatever I want. I've always been a very skinny guy. Uh, never had like that much weight on me, like fat or muscle or anything. Uh, so that it's just sort of been how I've looked for my entire life. So that's sort of, I probably have the picture back on the screen, but that is just sort of how I've looked. And that's just been me and there's nothing wrong with me. But what I started doing is I'm like, hey, I probably shouldn't be eating uh, just junk food all the time. Like sometimes I'd skip meals, like I wouldn't eat for days and then I'd eat a bunch during one day and I'd live off of caffeine and soda and that's, it was crazy. Basically, I drank my weight in soda. I drank my calories uh, and that was an incredibly unhealthy thing to be doing. I probably was having like, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a bit ridiculous, but like, six to ten sodas a day trying to like keep my energy up for videos and because you know when we're doing videos and stuff you gotta be alert you gotta be focused uh, i work crazy hours i'm working all the time uh i love it but it is a very energy consuming job and i sort of coped with it by drinking lots of soda and every time you drink a soda that's like 150 calories and i'm just was chugging them away and that's just crazy amounts of soda and plus it's kind of expensive to drink that much soda but I was drinking a lot of soda and basically I was living off of junk food where I'd be having like pizza all the time I'd be skipping meals which is terrible as well I'd be eating snacks like cosmic brownies and cookies and uh, candy and just all sorts of things and not really having that much real food so <laughs> it was kind of a bit of a problem uh, just how I was taking care of myself. So the biggest thing I did is uh, in January, I sort of made this change where I started eating a bit healthier. I didn't necessarily at first swap everything out for healthy foods, but I took out all the sodas and stuff. And that has sort of made a huge difference right at the beginning. At first I had like this huge energy crash and all that stuff because I'm going from like tons of caffeine in one day to none. And it was, it was a bit startling, but that was, it was good for me in the long run. I'm definitely glad. I don't. I don't really drink soda anymore. I've sort of weaned myself off of it. But in de, in January, I basically cut myself off. I'm like, no, you're not drinking any soda. So basically, I cut myself off completely from soda and sort of replaced it with water. And that in itself was a huge change for me. And that that is probably where some of my biggest like weight loss was from. Uh, I ended up losing, I, I guess, I, I don't care, I can tell you guys, I probably lost about 20 pounds, but 20 pounds, which is weird, because you look at me and you're like, there's no way you lost 20 pounds in that picture, but I did, I don't know where the 20 pounds was, but somehow I lost 20 pounds, um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into too much of it, but yeah, between my before and after picture, there is a 20 pound difference where I lost weight. I, I actually ended up losing some more than that, but I, I gained back muscle, so it, it's a 20 pound difference. So I'm not gonna say I lost 20 pounds of fat or whatever, because honestly, I don't know. So if you're a fitness guru out there and you're like, what is your body fat percentage and how much how much fat did you lose? What was your fat percentage loss? I, I don't know, I just, I worked out and now I look better. So as I said, this isn't going to be like an amazing, oh my gosh, Bryce knows everything about fitness video. It's just sort of a video telling you what I did. I don't, I don't even know if you guys are still watching, but I, I decided I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what happened. So basically in January, what I decided to do, which is sort of cut out the soda from my diet and try to cut out a few things to sort of make my life just a little bit healthier. And then I decided to start doing a little bit of running as well because it's sort of like, hey, if I want to look better, if I want to feel better, if I just want to be healthier in general, then I can make a few small changes in my life so that I am just happier as a person. So, and I tried to cut out a little bit of like the extra snacks that I had, like the, uh, not extra snacks, but the less healthy food that I was having. So like, tried to stop eating as much candy or uh, like cookies or brownies or whatever. 
I started trying to have a little bit less of that in January. And that combined with the running, in the course of a month, I lost a little bit of weight. And I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool. I've actually stuck with this for a month now. So that that's kind of neat. And in February, I'm like, hey, I've, I've lost a little bit of weight, but I realized that I'm still really, really skinny. I mean, even if I lose all the weight, I'm still gonna be very skinny. So if I wanna take better care of myself, I should probably start trying to lift a little bit of weight. I, so I decided to start lifting weights. Nothing absolutely crazy. I don't pretend like I'm a bodybuilder or like I'm even that muscular now. Like I'm still not very muscular, but for me, this is a huge change. Like I've, I've tried lifting weights in the past, but I've never really stuck with it because uh, gaining weights slash muscle is very difficult for me. I have a very high metabolism and I um, have a hard time actually gaining muscle. Like I've never been able to do it in my life. So uh, the fact that I made it here is kind of, kind of crazy. I would have like a three day routine where basically the first day I would lift weights. I would do all my basic exercises. It'd be like a full body workout. Like I wouldn't just have like a leg day or a upper body day. I would do everything at once. And that's sort of what I've been keeping with because for my schedule, I don't have a lot of time. So just finding the time to work out is kind of difficult. So I sort of do it all at one time so that I actually do it uh, because the more, the more you space it out, I'm sure it's better for you, but the more I space it out, the less inclined I am to actually do it because I don't have the time. Like I'm busy editing a video or I have a recording session at that time or I just really need to sleep and it, it's kind of difficult. So I just try to focus on having like a time to work out. So every three days I try to do a full body workout. I would do sprints one day and then I would do like longer running where I'd run like three miles long running, uh, like three or four miles. Uh, <laughs> and I would uh, do that on the other day. So I would basically go weights, sprints, and then long distance, long, long distance. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure lots of you guys do other things. I'm sure there's better ways to go about it, but that's basically what I did. So I had two days where I was sort of trying to burn calories and one day where I was trying to build muscle. And that's sort of, what I did and for a little while and um, I guess I did it all the way through February and then once I got to March I realized that hey if I actually want to make a change in my body I need to start changing my diet a little bit more so I started eating more protein so that I'd actually start building a bit more muscle because I realized that if I was going to actually build muscle I needed to give my body the fuel it needed to build the muscle. So I started eating more protein. I started swapping out meals. So I, I wouldn't have pizza every night. Instead, I would have like, hey, I'd have some chicken and some vegetables. And it was a good change. Like, honestly, I feel a lot better just physically. Like I, my body looks better, but I feel a lot better just because the, the change in the food I've eaten. Uh, so I'm not constantly eating all these crazy things anymore. Like, don't get me wrong. I still kill a pizza. Like I eat all the time. I still love pizza. I still eat crazy things. Like I still get pizza, burgers, all that stuff. Just, I don't do it every single meal like I used to. Like I will probably eat a couple times a week. Like I will eat just whatever I want because I can, I'm still working out, but I'm making sure that like, most of my meals or sort of at least half of them are something healthy where I'm eating like some chicken, eating some vegetables, eating just good things for you. And I'm making sure that I swap some of the snacks out where I'm not eating brownies anymore. I'm eating a, a banana or an apple. And honestly, you get to eat a lot more and I, it just tastes better. Like I don't, I, I've sort of lost my taste for super sugary food just because I've made that swap. And that's sort of been that's sort of been really cool. But basically in uh, March, I made this change where I started eating better. And that's when I started to see a lot of the results where I started to lose a, a large portion of the weights, like the, the extra weight. And I started to start building muscle and more or less, I've sort of just been continuing this. I've sort of slowed down on the cardio where I only do the high intensity stuff now. Uh, because I, I realized that I don't want to get much skinnier than I am right now. I'm sure I could get down to 4% body fat. That's impossible. I don't, I don't think you can do that, um, but I'm sure I could get down to a lower percent body fat, but I have found a point where I am happy with my weight and I'm just sort of working out and 
trying to build muscle, so I don't really need to focus as much on like the cardio stuff. So I do the high intensity cardio, so like the sprints, uh, so that I can maintain my weight and still eat whatever I want to eat. And then I work out every three days so that I can do, so I can keep building muscle. And more or less, uh, for the last six months or whatever, I've been doing that. And that's sort of just how I've gotten to where I am now. So hopefully that was kind of interesting. Hopefully it wasn't too rambly. I know I went off into tangents and spoke about everything, but more or less that is how I got to where I am now. Hopefully the general idea came across. Like hopefully, hopefully it was kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's still watching. I'm still not even sure if I'm going to post this, but <laughs> I guess if you're watching this, then good, good job me. You, you did it. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I guess that is that is me. I've I've made a little bit of a change because I've been working out and I'm I'm proud of it and hopefully I've inspired at least someone out there to sort of do the same thing. So yeah, that's that's more or less it for this video. I don't I don't know if it was interesting. I don't know if you guys cared. I don't know if you guys are just like, hey, give me video games. That's all I really wanted to see, but I don't know. I was I was proud of this and I I just wanted to show you guys. So yeah, that's that is what six months of working out for me did and Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see more things about this, I, I don't know if you would or not. I don't know if you want to see pictures of it. There's the Instagram link at Bryce McQuaid down below. Um, you can check that out. But yeah, I guess let me know if you guys want me to get more into everything that I'm doing. I mean, maybe, maybe I can tell you exactly what I'm doing. I don't know if anyone cares. I don't know if I'm qualified or whatever. But yeah, if you guys want to see, like the video, uh, let me know in the comments. I don't know, but... Yeah, I guess that's me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video wasn't too strange. Hopefully I actually posted it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.